wait for it. I look incredible. Hi, Shani Fannies, and happy St. Patrick's Day to those of you that celebrate St. Patrick's Day. And for those of you that don't, welcome to Friday. We certainly celebrate St. Patrick's Day a lot in our family because my husband is half Irish, and so we. So we do the whole celebration of the celebrations at his family's house. We eat the corned beef and cabbage meal for dinner. We have green Kool-Aid. We have mint chocolate chip ice cream for dessert. We have all of these fun Irish traditions that I was never able to be a part of as, a, as growing up. To me, it was just another day like, oh, you wear green to school or you'll get pinched, rude. But now I'm like, whoa. My husband's Irish, so I might as well hop on board and be here and do it, so I'm doing it. And it's very exciting in our household because every year on St. Patrick's Day, the, the leprechaun comes to visit Danny and brings him a nice little treat and a pot of gold. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video to see what the leprechaun brought to Danny. So I could not think of a video to do for St. Patrick's Day, so I just asked you guys to hurry and leave me a whole bunch of fun questions for today and that's what we're gonna do. So let's get into your questions. Jackie Watson, have you ever found a four-leaf clover? Yeah, at Walmart. No, I haven't, not a real one. <laughs> this is a great question, Laura. Laura Travis says, if you could change the color associated to St. Patrick's Day, what color would you choose? I love this question because as most of you know, forest green is the only color in the world that I absolutely hate. Except maybe around Christmas time, like the Christmas trees and stuff. Like I do not like forest green. I love every single color in the world except that dark, not even forest, like it's darker than forest green. Like it's just a gross, dark, swampy forest green that I don't like. So green has never really been at the top of my list of favorite colors, so I guess if I were to change it, obviously it would be pink, because everybody looks good in pink, and purple, and red. A typical girly color. That was a good question. What is one of your favorite smells from Kimberly F? Well, Kimberly F, one of my favorite smells remains to be, and I don't sniff it or do anything bad like that, um, but WD-40 needs to make a candle. They need to make a candle that smells exactly like WD-40 all the time. And cigarettes. I like the smell of cigarettes. And coffee. I love the smell of coffee. And um, I love, I love uh, gasoline. Cassidy Williams, try yodeling on camera for us. I've never even tried yodeling. I don't even think I can. Hold on. <clears throat> How do you yodel? Yodel. You're welcome. Guys, there are so many questions. How do I choose? How did you guys get me this many questions so quickly? Like I literally just asked you three hours ago and I have like three or 400 questions. Sierra says, hi Shani, hi. Have you learned any new songs on the ukulele? Love you, I love you too. Yes, I have learned a new song. Should I tell you what it is? I don't wanna tell you what it is. I'll just say that yes I am, it's a special song. I'm hoping that I can get it up as soon as I can, but I really wanna know it well enough before I play because it is very difficult for me to play and sing at the same time. That's really hard for me to do. I've always had trouble doing that. So, with like piano and everything, so. But I'm working on it, yes. And I think you guys will like it, I hope, so. Crystal Perez says, what is your ideal world? It would be a world full of kittens and butterflies and unicorns and rainbows at every corner and mountains full of beautiful snow that's not cold but it looks pretty like snow and the rainbows would reflect onto the snow and the unicorn cats, the unicats, the rainbow unicats would be flying all over and they would fly us around the town 
in hot air balloons except they would be the hot air balloon but they're like magical mystical creatures so they don't even need hot air they're just really strong that can fly and so they carry you around in a cute little rainbow colored basket and everywhere you look you look into the valley and there's this valley of cotton candy and lollipops and basically candy land in real life and basically everybody in the world gets along there's no differences there's no fighting there's there's no fighting there's no tension everyone works together in peace and harmony and eats sugar all day without gaining a pound or without losing their teeth or without getting diabetes and all of us just laugh and joke and have fun and love each other and be together and laugh and fun. Okay, a whole bunch of you asked me if I can Irish dance or if I can try it. I've never even tried it. Let's see how this goes. Can you see me? Cause I'm not gonna move my camera. Okay. What's your favorite music genre? I am a typical popular music girl. I like all music. I'm a very musical person. I have a very musical ear. And so I appreciate all music. I'm not a huge fan of the ones that like scream and like, <laughs> like, oh. <coughs> but I just, but it doesn't bother me to the point that I would do anything about it. I don't care. But typically I like whatever's popular on the radio. I like pop music. That's just how I've always been. And I'm not ashamed to admit it. So there you go. Alicia Coombs says, what's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? The first thing that came to mind when I read that is what I'm gonna tell you. I'm sure there are many more. I know there are many more, but I'm just gonna tell you the first thing that came to my mind. And I feel like maybe I've told you guys this before. Probably have, but a lot of you are new, so welcome. Okay, so it was when Danny and I were engaged to be married and um, my best friend, Mouse, by the way, someone else asked in the comments, who is Mouse? And I can't find that question, but I did see it earlier. Mouse is my best friend. Her real name is Melanie, but I call her Mouse because her family called her Mouse growing up because she squeaked like a mouse when she was born. So they called her Mouse. And then as she got older, the name stuck with me because I was her best friend and we met in third grade and we're still best friends to this day. And I love her dearly and I still call her Mouse, except she won't let anybody except me and her family call her that. So what was the question though? Um, Oh, so my, okay, so the embarrassing memory is when I was engaged to Danny and Mouse was sleeping over at my house and um, I tend to do things in my sleep and I woke up one time after punching my brother. I walked all the way to his room and punched him in the arm and he woke me up and I was like, what the crap is going on? I sleep walk, I sleep talk, I sleep eat, I sleep do a lot of things. So one time Mouse was sleeping over. <laughs> And all I remember is waking up on top of her. And she's like, do you know what you just asked me to do? I'm like, what? And she said that I said, Danny, I love you so much. Kiss me. And I tried to make out with her in my sleep because I thought she was Danny. Megan Helm says, are you a cat person or a dog person or both? I am a cat person. Please don't hate me in the comment section. <laughs> Blue Dude says, what the heck does the fox actually say? I think he says, that's what I think. And I think they should have put it in the song because I'm correct. Emily Fortier, Fortier, I think, um, is your second toe shorter or longer than your big toe or the same length? It is longer than my big toe. Bevy Lou says, um, did you ever try to go to the end of the rainbow to find a pot of gold? As a kid, of course. I've tried doing that as an adult. Is that not normal? Samantha warns, have you ever been to Ireland? No, I haven't, but I hope to someday, and Danny does too. That would be like his dream to go there. Rin Sullivan says, what is the meaning of life? As the tides join us together in the rivers that come from the waterfalls, 
may we all see that the water is all the same no matter where it came from and that we all meet together in a pool of life and have honesty and hope together in loyalty and friendship and love and understanding so that we can one day get back to our main pool of water that has the waterfalls that fell into it. Anxiety Queen, can you show us some fancy dance moves? Officially, Cody, go check out his channel if you haven't already, he's awesome, says, would you rather be invisible or read minds? Probably be invisible because then I could still kind of read my... I thought you heard me come in, I was talking to Buddy in there. Okay, all right, all right, all right. All right. So a bunch of people are asking the question, can I do an Irish accent? Ooh. No, I cannot, but Danny can. No, you can do it. No, I can't. Well, I will ask. I was in movies all day today and I was trying to do my job and it just kind of <laughs> sucked that say because it was so bloody sunny. But uh, it was it was, uh, it was, uh, it was uh, we had a great time and uh, we tried to drink a lot, but they didn't let us pull us all <laughs> some bitch. And, uh, you know, I mean, it was just, it was, it was how you, you know. Anyway, I like how uh, St. Patrick's Day brings us together. I'm very slick right now. There we go. And uh, that we can be family and just have a good old time and just have fun and, and uh, yeah. Anyway, my wee lass son, it has say had- Say something a... sexy to me in Irish. I'd say, hey lassie, <laughs> wanna have a drink with me? So you want to be Irish? I got a little one you can put right in you right now. Oh, Jenny! <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. I think I got a shower, huh? Nice. Luck of the Irish right there. So, the other question that I got over and over and over is, can you sing Oh Danny Boy? So, I thought to end this video, I mean, I'm just planning this for the moment because I didn't know Danny would be here, but I thought we would sing it together, but make up our own version, okay? Okay. So, I'll start, and you do the second verse, okay? Oh, Danny boy, I love you very muchly With all your green and all your greasy hair You are my bay forever and for always Will you please be my Danny boy for all the time. Oh, Shanny girl, I wish you wouldn't call me Bay because I hate that word and it drives me crazy. <laughs> oh, Shanny girl, I will stay with you for always. And I don't know how to finish this bloody song. So let's go drink, drink, drink. Let's go drink, drink, drink. Let's go drink the night away. And I made it weird and now I don't know what to say. So happy St. Patrick's Day. Okay, so thank you for watching. We hope you have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. And remember forever and always that you are beautiful. You are worth it. And I am... Lottie. I am T. And I am T. And E? And you've got green your all peak? over your teeth. All I was over afraid of that. Oh, Judas. Now you I gotta, couldn't see. Now you gotta clean them all off. Good thing they're removable. Not right now for crying out loud. Oh, <laughs> Judas. <laughs> Are we done here? I think so. Okay. Okay, bye.